All right, guys, welcome back to another AI Art Society tutorial. In this one, I'm gonna give you a full walkthrough of how I turn my workflow from mid-journey into photos that I sell on Adobe Stock. And the whole workflow, and to get that style, I'll give you a quick look up here. So for this um, soft, kind of cartoonish style. I like to use the word Disney. So in the style of D Disney and make sure not to put Disney animation because that will give you like the hand stenciled style. Um, so it's adorable 3D and then insert your animal here. And this one I did capybaras on Mother's Day because Mother's Day coming up. And again, we're gonna be selling these photos on Adobe stock. So we wanna make sure that it's something that people are gonna desire. So they're going to desire something with demand in this case it's being like famous holidays some of the photos i sold most were ones for things like valentine's day things like easter and then sure enough when i'm going to be doing this around christmas time you know those are going to be popping off as well so you look at the calendar and you go where we're at right now and we're gonna find oh earth days on April 22nd. Now, unfortunately, it sucks that Earth Day's on the 22nd because it's going to take me at least a day and a half to get um, these photos uploaded and rendered. That's one of the things with Adobe Stock is there's an in review file. So you can't just submit it, go straight to the website and make sure that your keywords are nice, that the quality is there. And as you can see, even just some really nice photos don't go through. So, that's just the case, unfortunately. So Earth Day is out of the question. But if you want to go, f oh, this is Star Wars Day. That's kind of cool. Now you have to watch out, though, because you have to own the certain trademarks, to the best of my knowledge, of these um, very popular copyrights. So for example, like Star Wars or like Mercedes or something like that. That's why if you look on Adobe Stock, you're going to see a lot of the emblems of cars blacked out on the back of their MacBooks. The Apple logo is going to be gone. Yeah. So Mother's Day is going to be on May 14th. We have plenty of time to get those photos rendered and have them kind of jump into the algorithm for that day. And then Father's Day is going to be in June. So you bet we're going to be doing very similar photos. But instead of the pink black gown, we're going to do a blue or maybe a black or gray background. And maybe instead of more of a female character, we'll do a male character. Also, hockey season's going on right now. The playoffs are coming up. So I did do some hockey images in there. Again, in that Disney 3D cartoon style. Um, that would usually take someone quite a long time to make without AI. However, with AI, it only takes us a fraction of a minute. So... Yeah, this is the workflow. Sit back, relax, and maybe take some notes if you wanna learn something. So we get our um, our photos in there with whatever caption you want. You're gonna filter through some of these to make sure that you like them. There's no, <laughs> there's no cars on the balcony. I mean, that is a big flex for all the quadcopters going by, but I think all these look pretty much perfect for me. I used to take a lot of photos and uh, photography was my big hobby and I found that there's this thing called the golden hour between sunset and sunrise. Those are kind of the best times to take photos. So usually if I'm going for a cinematic shot, I'll even just throw in the word sunset or sunrise in there and it'll give me exactly what I'm looking for. Now you notice I click on all four of those, but this U4 didn't go through. This is U4 right here. I scroll on the very bottom, there it is. So sometimes it doesn't show that it's being upscaled, but you can believe that it is. Now, one key tip here is you actually don't have to upscale them in version five currently because the upscale doesn't do anything to the resolution. You could literally just hit open in browser here. I'll give you an example. So for this one, save image as, it's gonna probably go to my pre-upscale folder Hop back over, save image as, save. Okay, perfect. Now we're gonna go to our pre-up scale folder here. 
get info. 1.1 megabytes, 816-1456. The upscaled version, 1.1 megabytes, 816-1456. So, as you can see, those are actually the exact same photo. So you're asking, why do you upscale them? Well, the reason I upscale them is because then I know what I download. I just have a little bit cleaner of a workflow as to um, I know what I'm downloading. All right, I'm gonna do it on this side so you guys can see. So basically, I'm just gonna go through, save. The reason I open it in browser is because it brings out the highest image resolution. Sometimes Discord loads a preview and then it brings it up to the full resolution. You don't want to accidentally download the blurry version. So by opening it in browser, you're guaranteeing the highest quality version. All right, guys, I'm just going to quickly download this and I'll catch you when I'm done. All right, and we're back. So we got all those pictures that I just seen me download into my pre upscale folder here. The next thing I'm going to do, because we can't just drop these uh, lowly one megabyte images into Adobe, they will not get accepted because they are not high enough resolution. As you can see, they're still a bit blurry. However, what we're going to do in that case is drop them into this program called Make It Big. It's on the App Store. You just select your output folder and it does all of the upscaling for you. So if I'm not mistaken, it was it was this photo, this photo, the two cans, and all the homes. We're gonna drag and drop in there. It takes about three minutes a photo, and I'll catch you when it's done. We'll check out the results. Peace. All right, we're back. And as you can see here, we have our upscaled folder. So these are the pictures after they get upscaled by that nice program called Make It Big. Again, you can find it on the App Store. It's only three bucks, no affiliation with me, but I find it really nice that you can have it right on the computer for you. And as you can see here, it does work. The images are absolutely incredible. Very high res. All right, so. Now that we have that out of the way, we're going to go back into our Adobe stock and we're gonna drag and drop the images. As you can see, I've already dropped quite a few here. We're going to go through and name the photos. So for example, created by AI generative tools, you can click yes. There's no penalty for doing this. It's not gonna make you any less money. All this is gonna put it into a bin, um, a nice organized, uh, folder on Adobe stock so people can actually search AI generated tools. I've still sold plenty of these uh, with that tag on there and I think it might even help you with the um, review process just by helping the computer know what it is. It's not recognizable people or property, no one knows that mouse. And then you can just come up with a nice creative title. Now I did use ChatGPT for uh, descriptions for a while, however that made a lot of my photos get flagged and stuck in the in review and reminder tag up here. So I find it best just to um, come up with a couple keywords that are built into the title. So for example, So, for example, Mother's Day, it's in the title here, so we're going to put that there. Pink background, animated and you can search down here. Now that is your standard Adobe. So I'm gonna go through and do all these and I will let you know when I get back. All right, and we're back. So we've titled and labeled each and every one of these. So again, these are kind of things that are going on right now. People love faux, hockey's going on, Valentine's Day is past, but Mother's Day is just around the corner. So we have all these pink cards with the with the mother and the, and the child. That's perfect, beautiful. 
So once you have the titles there, you have your keywords and you're ready to submit. I hit the add all button sometimes after the first five or six that I write in there because the first five or six are the most important and then if I don't have five, I just hit add all after the first four that I put in there. Again, you're doing a lot of photos. Um, so again, you're gonna get a little bit lazy with it, but overall it's better to do that than to do nothing. Submit. After you send these off, it'll ask you if you're sure to confirm and that I am. Perfect, now these are gonna go from new to in review. And then the ones that uh, I'm going to be rendering soon for um, Earth Day, if I can slip those in, will be coming up next. I really gotta get it without any text. <laughs> I'll just hop in Photoshop and get rid of the text because even with no text and uh, no word, it just floods it with words. <laughs> what are all these? Yeah, just as bad, eh? All of them got words. Ah, that's all right. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned how to use Adobe Stock. And uh, about a month and a half, maybe maybe two months in, if we go to my earnings here, I'm about $58. That was right around um, Easter when that sp spiked up around April 10th. But just to show you guys, these are some of the photos I've been selling. So the Easter photos, some photos of recording booths, tractors, agriculture, a little bit of food photos, space photos. Now, it's funny because I thought that personally the food photos were gonna pop off. As you can see, I got all these loaves of bread here. And then just for like days and days, I probably dropped in like 500, um, here's some of the new ones, let's go to page five. I probably dropped in hundreds of these food photos in here. And they actually didn't sell too well. It was more of the uh, the ones I showed you before. But I really thought these high quality um, food photos were going to pop off, but they didn't yet. We'll never know. Maybe it'll pop off soon, but that's where we're at right now. It's about um, April 20th, 420, and we are looking at about $58 in earnings. It says from back then, but honestly, I wasn't really on it. I only had a couple pictures on there. It wasn't until about a month ago that I um, finally started uploading like batches of 50 plus photos a day. And uh, we're gonna see where it's at. So the goal anyway is to have just some reoccurring revenue coming from this uh, for who knows long, forever, or um, however long Adobe stock is uh, profitable. But we'll see how it goes. This is currently the only um, stock photo set I'm using. I'm not using iStock or Pond5 or anything like that because I'm not making videos, I think this is a big reason. And this is just so convenient for photos. But uh, yeah, I wanna see what you guys' thoughts are. If you have any tips or tricks for Adobe Stock, please leave them in the comments below. Other than that, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Peace.